is an application we have done for robotic welding of large tanks. Uh, these tanks are on, are mounted on an adjustable head and tail stock by Yaskawa. We've actually built for the adjustment, the tail stock and head stock are Yaskawa's. Also has a Yaskawa welding robot with a Peronius weld package. Uh, the cool thing about the head and tail stock, these tanks can go up to 90 inches long, 54 inches diameter. We have the guards off this so you can see exactly what's going on here. We can pull this part, we can pull these pins, pull this back all the way to about 90 inches and pin it here. Uh, in doing that, we have a pneumatic gripping pedal here, actuate a pneumatic cylinder right here for gripping and locking these tanks in place. So some other cool features on this cell are you have a servo robot um, camera for tracking the seams. Uh, the end seams right here, this seam, this seam will get tracked. This, this, this tank seam will get tracked as well as the seams on the feet will get tracked. We will be using touch sense to track or to, to locate the holes in the top of the tank. And in order to make sure touch sense is, 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 is correct, we're using a torch cleaning station right here with a wire cutter. Every time we go to do a new touch sense, we will cut the wire, get a fresh piece of wire to make sure it's repeatable. Uh, a couple other things on here, we do have an HMI touch screen over here with the multiple part types to select, as well as we have an area scanner over here to make sure that no one enters the front of the cell during the operation. But we're gonna go ahead after that explanation, we're going to go ahead and start this process, and we'll show you the weld. Okay, so we moved over to start up the cell. Uh, as, as a point of reference, this is only running at 20% of the speed because we're still doing some product development on this. But we're going to go ahead and run you through and show this uh, all the way through the process. So we're going to go ahead and start up the cell. You're going to see the robot move up and down. And I'm going to hit this green button right here. And it's going to start the welding process, and I'm going to move back. <laughs> 